Konnichiwa, BT here. First of all, there's no way in hell I'll be able to say everything that I want to say in the minute long version of Instagram. So, click the link in my profile to go to the full YouTube page. And if you're already watching me here on YouTube page, on YouTube page, on the YouTube page, stick around. The last three days have been incredibly stressful and my brain has been attacking me like it knows it's losing. Like I'm finally pushing away the psychopath that's driving my bus and I'm, I'm finally driving and it's like, you know, try, it won't relinquish that power and it's fighting like crazy. So my brain has been telling me like every 14 seconds, you're a loser. I'm like, no, I'm not. And it's like, yes, you are. Not only does it cause me a lot of stress, but it puts a lot of stress on people in my life around me, you know, that are really, really important to me. And that's not good, especially like in my relationship with my girlfriend. I'm texting her right now. It then causes like a whole myriad of bad things. And it's not like she's like, oh, I wish you weren't like this because it's making me angry or anything like that she just feels really bad for me she's like i don't know why your brain would tell you this because that's not true and i have a really hard time believing it so what i wanted to tell you today was about this breakthrough it was really tiny but very impactful breakthrough that i had about uh it was basically a very small exercise that i did that led me to reframe the way i was thinking and a lot of this is inspired by byron katie Byron Katie is probably most known for her four questions. Um, these four questions are questions you ask yourself when you tell yourself a untrue story and they help you get to the root cause of why you're telling yourself this. So it's a very, very effective way of unrooting crap untrue stories so that you can actually start being happy. So why don't we get into the exercise? Very, again, I want this to be very fast. Whiteboard marker so I start this is just what I did you don't have to do it this way hopefully this isn't backwards in the video like mirrored but on this side I wrote untrue story and on this side I wrote the truth so one of those untrue stories I'm a loser one of the questions Byron Katie asks probably the most famous question is can you absolutely know this to be true? And I'm gonna butcher these four questions because I'm a rookie at it. Before I even answered the is it true, I had to create my own definition of a loser, right? And for me, like a loser was somebody that like abused somebody else and lied and deceived people, that sort of thing. And I went, no, I'm not really any of those things. Why do I feel like a loser? And for me, when I kept asking these questions and boiling it down to it, the truth was actually, I'm just really broke and I'm really freaking stressed about money. And this one's been a big one for me. Like, uh, you know, business isn't going well as an entrepreneur and owning my own business. You know, you get these ups and downs and they're, these waves are hard to ride on sometimes. Uh, and it's been a long spell of like having money not come in and that just gets really stressful. So in my brain, because people are pitching in and people helping me, I get like really insecure about that. And then I start to think I'm a loser because I can't take care of this. And again, if I go back to my definition, what a loser is, I'm not a loser. Untrue story number two. Again, you still can't read this. I don't know why I keep doing this. That's pretty much it. Try this exercise, grab a whiteboard, grab a slip of paper, whatever you need to do, write down stories on one side, that'd be the stories that you tell yourself, and on the other side, the actual truth. This is gonna take some time. It's not gonna, it might not happen in one go. It might take many tries over many weeks and many months because this isn't like the greatest job ever of explaining this book. I would highly recommend you getting that book from Byron Katie. Uh, it's called Loving What Is. Slowly but surely, it's like, blocking out all the, the bad juju so I can sit down and drive for once. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I'm drawing a shark, drawing a shark, drawing a shark. I'm drawing a shark, eating a shark, that's drawing a shark. Did I go the whole video without a hat on? <laughs>